All right, guys, so something that used to bother me in the MetaHuman Creator, the, the cloud-based version, was this issue right here, right? Remember, we would try to make an older person, you know, a version of that character, and there was always this issue where there was a disconnect. The face would be old, but the body would look young, right? They fixed that. <laughs> They fix that. So here's what's really cool. So if you go to the body over here, you can see different ways that we're able to sculpt and change this body. But we also have a section under materials where you can go to the skin section. And if we compare this to the online version, this is the meta human creator, a typical one that you're used to. And actually it's ending at 5.5. Beyond this, I think in 5.6 and 5.7, we're going to be using the newer one, which is the, the plugin version. By the way, a quick one. So some of you have been asking how to go about uh, building the Unreal Engine 5.6 from the Epic Games branch. So I am using this particular one. I'm going to get to the point real quick, guys. Just a, a second. Bear with me. So this one that I'm using, if you go to help and about Unreal Editor, this is Unreal Engine 5.7. This is a branch on the Epic Games GitHub, and I'll bring it up. It's in the UE5 main. The previous test that I did was 5.6. So this one, UE5 main, and I, I found this out from a, a friend of mine from the fellowship, the animation fellowship, the Pixel Professor. He pointed out that uh, the UE5 branch is where they're going to be putting most of the new features that are coming to the newer builds. 5.6 is more of a, I think they're probably going to stop the updates and they're just going to fix bugs because that they want to make this available for when the state of the Unreal Engine comes in. But they're still making the changes, updates, while until we get to the state of the Unreal Engine. But UE5 main is where I, I was able to find Unreal Engine 5. 0.7. So it's it's not a lie. It is 5.7 for reals. Okay. Now the tutorial that helped me build this version of uh, Unreal Engine is from Mr. Cam's one. This tutorial is extremely helpful, and I'll put a link in the description of this video so that you can follow along. But I must warn you, this process. It takes up a lot of space. I had to have 500 giga gigabytes, yes, with a G, <laughs> gigabytes of storage to be able to run this. And it takes uh, hours and hours of this. So be prepared if you want to uh, test this out. And again, it's going to be under the Unreal Engine. This is GitHub, Epic Games, underscore, rather, no, slash, Unreal Engine branches. And you're going to find it under UE5. So that is 5.7 if you're wanting to run this and want to do the test that I'm doing so you can see for yourself. And follow along with this tutorial. This one is a Visual Studio tutorial that will walk you through the entire thing. So thank you so much, Mr. Combs, for helping me walk through that. Okay. And so this is the issue that we're having that when we would adjust the, t the texture over here, you could actually see it changing, right? But in the build itself, right, sorry, the body would not change. This would all be for the head and a, a bit of the neck. So in Unreal Engine 5.7, this one right here, and with a MetaHuman plugin, this is now a plugin. Uh, it used to be online uh, as a cloud-based platform. But if you go to over here, I will show you real quick under the plugins. If you go to the all plugin section and you type it, you type in MetaHuman, you're gonna see that MetaHuman Creator is a be is in beta right now. MetaHuman Character as a Creator and a bunch of other cool things that are in there. So, if you want to follow along, if you want to see for yourself, then I really recommend that you go through the tutorial that I just pointed out uh, from Mr. Combs. But so here's what I was talking about: is that we would have this young body, right? and an old face, right? So I'm actually using this new uh, hair. This is a new hairdo that they've added with, uh, you know, it's like braids. That's so cool. <laughs> Thank you so much, Epic Games. And I'm looking forward to more and more of these kind of uh, hairstyles that are really custom. 
But anyway, so now we want to, if we want to make this body look uh, compared to the head to look old, there's a new option over here and it's called the body texture index. You have two indexes, indices I suppose. So the first texture index is 47, right? We don't have yet a matching version over here. This is from one to eight. And you, I'm looking forward to when they can actually match so that we have the same kind of uh, continuity, right? So if I go through these ones, like two, and actually there's another cool option over here that takes off the upper underwear. So you can actually see it better. Then the head is looking older, but we want this to match. So you can see it starting to happen over here, where before like in body index texture one was always the default, right? And you can actually rotate all around and you can see. Now, if I adjust the index to like two, you can see it taking like changing, but it's still not quite there yet, right? It's not old yet. So you have to go through like three, you go to four, you go to five, go to six, seven, eight. So eight is where you get a sense of age. But even that, you can see it's still limited. So it's under the armpit. It's almost like a, a skin burn, right? It's not quite there yet because the chest here should have way more wrinkles over here. And unfortunately, and I'm praying that Epic Games is able to fix this, is that there's no way of controlling that, the index, right? So I see roughness here, that's gonna adjust the how shiny the texture is, but there's no, like maybe let's try texture position. Let's see, let me expand this. Texture offset. Uh, let me try that and see if it makes any difference. No, so we, uh, I know this is in beta, you know, just like we said, so this is still gonna need help, a lot of help. Like, but the cool thing is that you're starting to see the foundation of making older characters with the texture like that. You can see the wrinkles on the legs. We still need more control so that you can adjust the index of that. But I think this is a, an improvement because now you can see that you can make a character a little bit older and so that the head doesn't, there's no mismatch. And I'm hoping that they're able to get the indexes to match, you know, because in the online version, you only had the texture and you could only go by like points, point seven, point whatever, as you're adjusting over here. So I like the way they're doing it right now, where you actually get the control of the numbers, the index, index numbers. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you guys that uh, first I wanted to point you to the tutorial of how I was able to build Unreal Engine 5.7 in this uh, character right here. But also to point out that now there's a new option to make the body and the head look older compared to before, right? So that is a cool update. <laughs> You know, just put up the, put the underwear up at the top, I guess. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me, guys. And uh, I, there's another tutorial that I shared with you how to do the, uh, to create your own personal character. But as you can see, like uh, using a metahuman, that is. When you're done with this character, and actually, let me see if I can go to hair and clothing. And we're going to assemble this character. We'll just do, let's double click on this to assign this full set, okay? And over the details over here, we, uh, let's look at the clothing, outfit clothing. So there's the primary color, color. We can change it. Let's make maybe like a blue for the pants. And so the shorts and the shirt, you can make it maybe orange. So I know a lot of these things are probably gonna change as we get closer to the release, but this is a, a quick way for you to get started. Yeah, and there's the outfit. So we don't have other clothing just yet. 
when we have this uh, starting outfit. So it will be cool to be able to add different types of clothes. But it looks like we'll be able to add our own personal clothing and conform the character. So now that the character is older with the texture for the arm and the head, we can go ahead and assemble. And then you can give the name. So maybe we'll call this Miko. And we're gonna, this is uh, the UE cinematic, the UE optimized, UE export, UE uh, DCC export. If you want to export that, we'll just uh, do UE sign. And the name, it's gonna be, that's where the location is gonna be. The character is not rigged. So make sure you create a full rig first. And just give it time to be able to finish. So this is the part that I was wondering if it's just doing this locally. But uh, it looks like previously when I did this, it logged. It asked me to log on to the platform, some kind of platform. So I, I think, this is me just speculating, I think there is still some connection to the Epic Games servers because they are able to account how many meta humans have been created over time in some of those reports. So they will be able to know how people are using this but overall you no longer have to wait in line you know like how you come here and you click launch meta human animate uh, meta human creator and before you even get to this point of having logged in you have to wait in line well that you do no longer need to do that uh, you can do this locally right so first auto rig in progress it's applying the dna from auto rigging service uh, but the which means that's the the auto rigging service I was referring to. So this DNA you'll be able to share it with your within your team setup or with your friends, people you may be working on with a short film. Uh, they'll be able to check this DNA and then load it. The character is missing textures. Use download textures. So we'll go here and just gonna do two K four K textures. So it's applying source face textures. The last stage of when you're making a meta human. We used not to be like that. Everything was uh, automatic in here. Once you created the meta human, you continue. You could continue to edit the character without worrying about uh, that rigging part of it. And I, actually, here you don't even see anything that has to do with rigging. But this was because this is all done online, so they're taking advantage of uh, economies of scale, whereby they have this, you know, access to large GPU, comp like massive computers with GPUs, mega GPUs that are able to process this. But it was still limited because there was there was a limit. You could, there was a time when you couldn't even log in. If the cap was that the line is full, you had to wait in line. Mm -hmm. The one that they've made here is considered right now, uh, sorry, let's go back to, we get still processing, so you can minimize this. So it's applying DNA from auto rigging. Uh, so what, here it's all a, pl it's a plugin now, so you really don't need to wait in line. But this is gonna again depend on, this whole system is gonna depend on the quality of your machine. So I imagine a lot of people are gonna have to upgrade their computers, you know, because it's gonna be resource intensive, right? All right, so the asset you editing is rigged. So now we have a rig, and the way you find out is you gotta, you gotta test it. So let me see if I can do over here for the an body animation. Uh, let's try, sorry, let's do, yeah, I guess body ROM, okay? Mm -hmm. And then it's place. Yeah, look at that, guys. <laughs> The dreadlocks, the simulation is going. I mean, still, you can still see the struggles it's having. And I, I know this is only going to get better. But the character is fully rigged. And it's ready for us to use. So let's stop that. And now I can, so I, you notice I had to click out and back here to be able to see the assemble. So let's go ahead and click on assemble again, because now the character has uh, textures which I hadn't applied. So that's there's a, a pro like a, there was there's a proper way to do all of this. We are all testing this because it's we are super excited about it. But there's definitely a proper like workflow to all of this. 
and I'm looking forward to when that uh, official documentation comes out. So <laughs> we're not just uh, you know imagining how to do this. But anyway, I'm waiting to see this character completed so then we can test it inside of a scene. Um, one thing that I noticed over here is, remember how at the bottom here, when, whenever you went to the shoes, there was no way of turning the shoes off. Like under the bottoms, you could turn off the bottom so that it was just the underwear, but for the shoes you couldn't. Well, in the new one, in the Unreal Engine version, let's see if I can minimize this. Okay, it's assembling the character. Let's just give it a second. You are, actually, maybe I can see it from here. You can see that the default character comes without any shoes. But also uh, over here in this beta version, they've not yet added um, like, we see hair and clothing, but under the hair and clothing, I don't see shoes just yet. And the outfit was just one outfit. So I'm excited to see that catalog continue to grow. Um, I'm gonna let this run through and once it's done, I'll be able to share with you the final character so you can see it. All right, so our character is done being assembled. And when you're done with that, you can close this out. And now under here, you're gonna see there's a new folder with Miko in it. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me guys. Uh, today I was uh, just going through, uh, just sharing that uh, now there's a, almost like a seamless way for us to have older characters with older heads match an older body. There are, you know, texture indices, but they still don't match up just yet. There's the body texture index and then the face texture index. So I'm looking forward to all those lining up so that when you pick one index of the head, it mat matches the index of the body so that they, there's a seamless structure to it. And I know like vendors out there are gonna be prepared, creating probably these indices, indexes, <laughs> however way the proper way to say that so that then you can plug in the different looks and feel for the character so thank you so much for joining me guys again dare to dream big do not give up on your dream i know it's exciting for the unreal engine to see a major update like this and may we continue to use these tools to tell our stories do not give up do not give up dare to dream big much love to each and every one of you have a blessed day bye for now